But dude, all right. Now to let's get the fucking anti-trans uh, mania in the country. Of course, we're gonna be talking about Montana. Okay, uh, a state. For those of you who don't know, this is a state. It's not just a rapper, French Montana. Uh, it's it's actually literally a fucking state. It's not Hannah Montana. It's not the Disney show. Uh, it is actually a, a fucking real state. No, it's not in Canada. It's in the United States of America. You might not have known about this. Um, but yeah, there's like 500 people there. And anyway, let's, let's talk about what Montana is doing. Montana and the growing outrage over the treatment of a transgender lawmaker. Public protests in the legislature were met with police in riot gear. Look at these fucking hogs, dude. <laughs> Here on Monday, this was the third straight session that Democratic State Representative Zoe Zephyr was barred from speaking over a comment she made about a bill to ban gender-affirming care. She now says she could face censure or expulsion from the chamber later today at the hands of the Republican majority. Meg Oliver has more on this story. Standing defiantly Monday, Montana House Representative Zoe Zephyr raised her arm holding a microphone to amplify the voices of her supporters, demanding she no longer be silenced. The freshman lawmaker, who is transgender, tweeted last night that she faces expulsion or censured later today. That's after Republican House leaders announced they would vote whether her actions... It's cool that, like, for uh, Republican-dominated state legislatures, like... It's not enough that, uh, you know, they already, like, gerrymandered at the hell. So, like, even if your state has, like, 60% Democratic swing, uh, you still have, like, a, a Republican-dominant state house and state senate. It's fucking super sick. Um, and, like, they can just do their bidding Violated regardless. But now they're also like, hey, we don't really like you because you're trans. We don't really like you because you're black. We don't like you because you're gay. We're just going to fucking expel you. <laughs> We're just going to censure you. Super sweet stuff uh, happening. Uh, once again, Republicans, in my opinion, are getting ahead of themselves and getting entirely too fucking horny with the undemocratic powers that they routinely exercise. Will that actually come back and bite them in the ass? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. I, I, I don't know at this point. Like, who has any power in this country? <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this. What is this? How society accepts transgender people doesn't go far enough, says 76% of Democrats. Republicans say goes too far, 79%. Nice. Culture war is so awesome. Culture war is so awesome. We just like make work, make busy work for these fucking weirdos. You know what I mean? What the fuck is this? I don't even know what's happening here in like the replies. <coughs> Are they posting the shooting victims in Tennessee? Like, what does that mean? These people are literally mentally unwell. So Zendaya is actually a man and Tom Holland is actually a woman. Oh, yeah. I, I, I We have the transvestigators. We're going to talk about them in a second. safety, dignity, or decorum of the House of Representatives. No representative is above our House rules. For over a week, Zephyr has been barred from speaking on the House floor until she apologized for her comments opposing a Republican bill banning gender-affirming care for minors. If you vote yes on this bill and yes on these amendments, I hope the next time there's an invocation, when you bow your heads in prayer, you see the blood on your hands. 
Montana's Republican House Speaker deemed those comments out of line and that they broke House decorum. We're elected to have the hard conversations. Speaking to John Dickerson last night on CBS News Streaming, Zephyr says she's not apologizing for what she said, and in fact, she would say it again. When marginalized communities, communities who are impacted the most by legislation, rise up and speak to the harm, those folks in power, particularly on the far right, do not want to be held accountable for the real harm that these bills bring. For CBS Mornings, I'm Meg Oliver. President Joe Biden. Awesome. Great stuff. Um, yeah, so they did that. They, they did. The motion passed and Representative Zephyr will be censured for the rest of the session uh, across the party line. Uh, the House is now adjourning. Um, they're doing, they're taking the disciplinary actions proposed to ensure the safety of the body. They're literally kicking out the trans woman they hate and silencing her for the rest of the year. <coughs> uh. They're just not letting her speak. Um. The right to protest is clearly upheld right in the state U.S. Constitution, and we took oaths to protect that Constitution. Though I love my job, I face a series of deeply offensive behaviors. There's been a pattern of unwillingness to listen to a diverse set of opinions in front of us. Once again, no matter what happens, Republicans don't care about the Constitution. They just want the rules to only apply to defend them. Hello. They are literally utilizing bullshit fucking decorum uh, to to unfairly and unjustly punish a trans lawmaker that was duly elected and is doing the fucking job that she was elected to do. Uh, it's just so insane. I, I don't know what else to say about it. Hopefully this fucking blows up in their faces like the Tennessee thing did. <laughs> 